Hey, good morning, everyone. Um, just give a minute here to let folks get on. I uh, just kind of spur the moment thought that I would share something um, that's just been uh, God put on my heart the last couple of days. Well, it's really been uh, for a little while, but um, it was kind of sparked this morning by our 7 a.m. Thursday morning men's. Uh, we do a Zoom call. And uh, I was talking with my wife last night because the ladies in our church do a Thursday evening Zoom call. And we are just talking about how encouraging and refreshing those times have been for us in this season especially. Um, and I was thinking about this, this study the um, uh, Barna Group came out with basically that said that one-third of Christians in, in, since the shutdown, since the COVID-19 shutdown, have completely disconnected from church. One-third of Christians have completely disconnected from church. One-third of Christians have been basically virtually church hopping. And one-third of Christians have, have stayed connected to their local church. And I honestly think that the most detrimental thing you could do in your spiritual life, and I think I called this video something like, this is killing you spiritually. I think the most detrimental thing you could do for your Christian life is to let yourself disconnect from the local body of Christ. And I know some of you are gonna say like, well, you, you know, you gotta read your Bible and pray at, Hear me, absolutely. Those are essential spiritual disciplines. Um, but I think reading your Bible and praying are sort of like eating. Yes, you have to do that every day. You got to eat, you got to drink water. You need to read, you need to pray every day. Um, but it's sort of like if someone is alone and isolated and they're they're physically healthy, but they're not connected to other people, then, then their mental health is going to deteriorate. And tragically, we've seen that. Um, many, many cases of that in this season. And in a similar way, yes, you can read the Bible, you can pray, um, you can be connected to other Christian friends, but if you're not um, deeply engaged with your local church family, um, your spiritual health is going to deteriorate massively and rapidly. Um, God didn't design us to live the Christian life as Lone Ranger, Jesus and me, Christians. He designed us to live the Christian life with another group of people, with a group of people, a family, a local body, a local church um, who can bear burdens, who can encourage and pray and know, you know, our proclivities, our habits, our sins, our needs, um, you know, what's happening with our kids and our parents and our our lives and our work, um, and there's something about that re consistent repetition of engaging with the same people over a course of time that is irreplaceable, that is irreplaceable for your Christian life. And, um, and so I just want to encourage you to reconnect to your local church to reconnect with the local nuclear spiritual family that God has put you into um, and engage with that family of faith. This is not like a guilt trip. This is not like, this is simply saying that God designed your spiritual health to work such that you need a local family. You need it. What do you call a baby born into the world who doesn't have a nuclear family? You call a baby born into the world who doesn't live in a nuclear family an orphan. Christians who are living the Christian life without deeply connection, deep, deep connection and deeply connecting with a local family of faith are living like spiritual orphans. A baby who's a member of the human family but not a member of a nuclear family is called an orphan and tragically will have trauma and difficulties 
uh, because of that in their life. In the same way, a Christian who's a part of the Christian church universally, but not part of a local family of faith, will suffer spiritual malnourishment and spiritual problems. And so I just want to encourage you, uh, get connected and stay connected to your local church um, and as, as best you can. And I'm not, I know sometimes scheduling and different things, they don't work out. I'm not, I'm not being legalistic about this. I'm saying for the sake of your spiritual health, as, as, as far as you're able and so far as you are able to connect with the local family of faith, um, do that and your spiritual health will improve. Anyway, uh, I don't know if that was encouraging to you. Um, I'm not even sure if I'll post this. Um, I, I can see people viewing, but for some reason it's not showing me who's on. So, hi. Um, I uh, hope this is encouraging to you, and I would love to pray for you. If you need prayer for anything, hit me up, text me. Um, 954-873-2077. Shoot me an email and I will talk to you all later. Peace.